Okay, guys, welcome back. We're going to deploy an XG Boost model for regression. But before we do that, we create a bucket. We import this real estate data. We only drop this column. Okay. Model equals DF and then label and code. Test train split. PD concat. Here's where we get into the train data. Later, we're going to upload into the S3 bucket the validation for the hyperparameter tuning. But for now, we're just going to do this, and we're going to show you why validation data is important. Okay. So, regular linear is what I set the, that's how I made it, regression model. Instead of binary classification, which is what XGBoost is mainly used for. Okay, as you can see, the original training job, it didn't do so good. That's why it's good to tune the hyperparameters before you deploy. But you can still do it while it's deployed and then attach it. I'll show you how. Okay, so then we deployed. The best it did was one point, basically 108% error. Okay, then we deployed it. Basically all the predictions were the same. Put it in the data frame just for fun. Saved it just for fun. Okay, and then here's where I uploaded the, uh, the test data and, the, and made it into the input validation for the hyperparameter tuning. Okay, I did two training jobs, and look what happened. Only two training jobs. I could have done even more or picked the best model. Okay, I made the tuner fit the training and validation data. After I did the parameters, we did the Bayesian strategy, which is the best. I think, at least. Okay, and then here's where we do. XGB means SageMaker attach basically uh, this model. The best trained model, the last one. This one. Okay, and then let's see, uh, we attached it, and then I'll show you how well it did just in two training jobs. Of course, we, if you have a bigger account, you can do more training jobs at a time. But I only needed two, and look how good it did. We'll get to the end. It dropped 30% mean squared error, root mean squared error. You see, guys? Okay, and then that's how you attach it, and then you can deploy again to a new endpoint. Okay, guys, there you go. This is why you should tune the hyperparameters before you deploy. Although, they need models deployed for a while to prevent model drift need hyperparameter tuning anyways, but this is one way you can do it. Okay, guys, thank you.